Hi guys, welcome to my Cities in Motion tutorial. In this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you how to build a basic bus line. I'm doing this just because when I played the tutorial that came with the game I didn't think it was very good and I needed, you know, I needed to look through a manual on how to do it and I really hate doing that. So I thought I'd just make it easier for you guys if you're brand new to the game. Okay, so... I'm just going to be building a basic bus line. It's just going to go down this central road here to the other end of the city, so it's nothing complicated. So I'll start at this end. Now, as you can probably see, there's nowhere for it to turn around. So the thing with Cities in Motion 2, which you couldn't do in Cities in Motion 1, is you can build roads. Okay, so that's always really helpful. So you can build the regular road, which is uh, traffic going both ways. You've got the one-way road. You've got an avenue, which is like with some pavement down the middle. That's useful if you want to build tram lines, because you can put them down the middle so it skips out traffic. An expressway, which is often used for motorways, you can see that being used here. And then you've got a pedestrian street, which is really useful for tram terminuses, just because the trams can go on the road, um, but the uh, none of the road traffic can, so like I say, it cuts out all traffic. You've also got your trolley lines, which you just put those above the road, like so. Tram tracks, and um, you've got your metro tracks. So, if we go into the build one-way roads, you've got this little pink one here, which is just a bus lane. I often use these for bus terminuses, just because the buses can go around them, but none of the other traffic can. So what you want to do is you want to click where it's green, you can do that on any intersection, you can do it anywhere along here, although I prefer to use the junctions. So you can click here and drag it. When it's red, it won't build it. So click there, and then there, and it's not going to do it. So I'll build that there, and I'll build that there, and there. There we go, so the bus is just going to come round here, and then go back down the road. So I'm just going to go to the other end and do the same thing. So let's check I'm definitely at the right end. And when you're building a road, it will just destroy any buildings that you may build the road through. So I'll click there, click there, and click there. So next you want to go into construct structure. Obviously we're building a bus. The advantage of using buses in cities in motion is that you don't really have to build much infrastructure, unlike trolleybuses, trams and metros, um, where you've got to actually build the lines for them to run on. The buses, the roads are already pretty much pre-built, so they are relatively cheap to construct, so if you're just the first time to the game, you've just started a new game, you don't have very much money, it's a very good thing to use. The only disadvantage with using the buses is that uh, you don't get much profit off them, so it, it can take a lot longer but uh, with regards to how much all your people like your services most of these people I think all of them like using the bus so it gets your reputation up as well so another thing in Cities in Motion 2 which you didn't need with Cities in Motion 1 is you need a depot so you can build a basic bus depot which can hold 10 buses or uh, you can build a large bus depot which can hold 20 so we're not going to need very many so I'll just put this depot here, there we go. So on top of your depot, providing you've got it turned on obviously, you can see how many buses are in the depot, that's the top number, and uh, that's how many buses use that depot. So you can have more buses in the to that depot than what it can hold, if you see what I mean, because obviously 10 buses won't always be in the depot. That sounds very confusing, I know. If you have any questions, you can always ask me later. Ask me in the comments, yeah. So, you've got your different types of bus stops. You've got your single bus stop. You've got a bus stop with a little shelter. And you've got one with a shelter and a bench. Now, I always prefer to use this one just because you'll find your passengers are happier to wait longer at a shelter with a bench than at just a stick, just a bus stop stick. So... So you just click the one you want, and you drag it to anywhere. The arrow points of which way the bus will be travelling, so obviously you can see it's a one-way road, so the bus will be travelling that way. You obviously can't build it when it's red, but when it's green, so you just click that. 
if you zoom out you can see the little circle round here that's just the catchment area of that bus stop okay so anybody in these buildings here will go to that bus stop obviously the guy that lives in this building won't want to walk that far so you just try to place your circles so they just overlap each other so we'll have the arrow going up and an arrow going down for the return journey another one going up and down up and down and then we'll just place another one in this little terminus here although the catchment area goes into the water it does cover some of these houses here which the other one doesn't so it's still a worthwhile bus stop so that's the route built the next thing you want to do is go into your depot so you just click that little button on the top and you get this little pop-up here okay so you can see everything about your bus depot there you can see who owns it so if you're playing on the multiplayer and you're not sure who owns it you can click on theirs and it brings everything up you can show a list of vehicles in the bus step in the bus depot sorry that's the next tab on you can edit the name of your depot if you really want to i never really use this feature but uh, you know some people might want to and then you've got this thing on the end the center camera on the object so if you're away building something else you can click that and it takes you straight back to your depot this one here is probably the most important one and the one that you're going to use most in your game so I'll click that oh go away so we'll click that and this brings up a list of buses now if you've just bought the game you'll find that you don't have as many buses as I do that's just because you will have you'll have this one this one and you'll have the Jubilee Futurist which I prefer to know as the Wright Gemini this one um, this one this one this one this one and this one all come in a bus uh, DLC pack and then this one and this one, the Mercedes-Benz Citaro, called the Jubilee GL, and the Roadmaster 2000, which most people will probably know as the Boris Master, come as the European Vehicles Pack, which is another DLC pack you can purchase through Steam. Okay, so it's not a particularly long route, so I'm just going to use the Pavlov Arriva, which is uh, most people will probably know better as the Optus Solo SR. So it gives you all your details about the bus there. So you can choose along the bottom how many you want for this route. So I'm going to choose five. You always want to make sure that you have more buses than the route requires, just because if you have less, you'll find that you miss trips and uh, your people will get cross. You can also use this drop down to choose which bus depot you want to uh, you want to send them to. But because I've brought it up in bus depot one, it'll automatically choose bus depot one, and then you just click purchase, and you'll see it says five out of ten. There. And you've got the five on the depot. So the next thing you want to do now you've got your buses and your route is put your buses on your route. So you go down to the transport panel, which is the bus in the green little circle here. And then you've got your different types of line. If you click the create new in the tram section, you won't be able to create a bus route. I know it sounds silly, but believe me, I did that first of all. So you want to go to the little bus your bus will always be blue okay so the blue color is what represents the bus pink for the tram red uh, pink for the trolley sorry red for the tram green for the metro and yellow for the water bus so you just click the create new and you'll see you've got your line here and you get this little tab up here so you want to click the well basically I'll just talk you through what everything is there's the object info so that tells you how many vehicles you need at the moment because it doesn't go anywhere I only need one vehicle and it only takes 10 seconds which is kind of a lie because the bus won't even come out of the depot. The next thing you've got over is the list of stops, obviously, because I've not added any to the list. It's blank at the moment. A list of vehicles that are running on that route. Then you've got your timetable. I'll show you how to edit that in just a little bit. You've got this little button here. If your line isn't making any money or you're just a bit bored of it, you can delete it. You can also give it a route number. So we'll give this one the number 300. Okay, so that's just a way of numbering them you've also got your center camera on the object which will just pretty much put you anywhere on the line okay so this one here with the bus stop and the little green plus is how you add the stops all routes in city that's in motion must start and end at a depot okay so think of that as like a bus station so you want to click the little square and you can see it's added the depot then you want to click 
this bus stop, the first one, and you'll see that it automatically finds a route. And because it's a bus route, it's shown in blue. Okay, then you click your next stop, and you just join all your stops up. We'll go to the terminus, and back again. Okay, to your bus station here, your little terminus. Okay, and then when you click your bus depot, it will automatically start. And then above your line here, it tells you how many vehicles are running and how many you need. So I'm just going to click this little eye icon, which will get rid of this. So it just makes it more visual. And you can see you've got your little bus running around here. Okay, so that's just how to build a basic bus line in Cities in Motion. You'll find you uh, make a lot more money and you'll get a lot more passengers if you connect your line up. So if I build another line here, for instance, and it goes along this road round here, and it stops maybe there, people could get on the bus here and pay money to go around here, and then they'll get off here, and then they'll want to pay money again to go down here so they can make little connections. You can also connect the bus to the trolley bus or the bus to the metro for instance. Any sort of transport can do connections. You especially find this useful on metros and water buses. So that's just how to build a basic bus line. If you've got any questions obviously post them in the uh, comments box below. But thank you very much for watching. You can also join the Cities in Motion group which uh, is a group that I made. It's just to uh, it's just for people that are wanting to play online, post pictures, ask questions about the game, and hopefully other members will help. If you've got Facebook, then uh, there's a link in the description. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.